The CNF Solution Suite is composed of several key elements which can be installed and customized to best suit customers' requirements. Installation is performed using simple Helm charts. Once the Helm chart installation is triggered, we can observe the deployment via the OpenShift console. Next, we're going to configure a basic Layer 3 settings found in a typical deployment. For this, we use a VLAN resource for each network the deployment is connected to, indicating the IP addresses, VLAN tags, and the physical interfaces used. We will also configure external access to the internet with a route resource. No additional routes are needed to access the subscribers, thanks to F5's Auto Laptop feature. The application of this configuration is business as usual using native tools. Next is the service configuration. The main type of traffic listener is the context secure resource. There are others for specific needs such as the DNS app, and the different application layer gateways for specific protocols. These can have attached traffic management policies such as large-scale NAT, firewall, or IPS protection. Next is scaling out the data plane. We see our, that we are able to scale the pods from two pods to four. On the left, we can see the different components of the CNF solutions, including TMM, which is the data plane pod, which we're scaling. Each time we increase the number of pods, we can see how the load is halved and evenly distributed without disruption. Finally, we will show how to advertise network address translation prefixes using BGP. This is required in most deployments. For this, we will just need to modify the NAT policy resource and toggle the route advertisement property. Each of the TMM data plane pods independently advertises the range of NAT prefixes it owns. After the configuration is applied, we will interrogate each of the four data plane pods running. With this, we verify the NAT ranges advertised by each TMM data plane pod.